Hey, welcome to my build hacks video. Today we're gonna to be running through everything you see. No, just kidding, this is my test world, but I do have some build hacks in this world. It's probably gonna be around 15 to 20 things. I just wanna give you some inspiration for Minecraft and hopefully you can leave with something you want to build. We're gonna start off somewhat simple with some filing cabinets or drawers. I've never really seen them done with beehives and I really like this look. You could even do this again in another spot like right here. Maybe you're just really lazy and don't push in your drawers. <laughs> the next one is a large barrel, and this one is specifically filled up with honey, as you can see, uh, orange honey. You could have your beehives next to it like this to signify that it's filled with honey. But yeah, these are all made out of solid blocks around the side, but trap doors right here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Right here, you wanna use stairs so the glass doesn't connect to a solid block. Same as on top, just to match the pattern. Kinda looks like a casket, but, um, Maybe you can use it for both. Next one is your own personal desk. It is two by three blocks big. And as you can see, you can mix in whatever blocks you want, but I think these look the best, along with the lectern, you can put some candles, a little flower pot, crafting table. I think this goes really well in any office and everyone needs their own office. Next one, you can imagine this is just stripped right out of a lumber yard. So you can have large logs right here and you can make these as long as you want, but you can do this three wide pattern where you put these saws and slowly make it look like it is taken off the bark and then cutting it into smaller pieces and then going into a pile like this. I really like how this turned out. Next up is a grill that I am absolutely going to make in my survival world as soon as I can get the piglin head. It, it just seems really hard. I really want it, but I don't have it yet. But as you can see, we have some smokers here. Uh, under here is a campfire, obviously. Um, you could even do this with a glow item frame to make it look like a light. Got a pork shop there. It just looks like you butchered a piglet and you're about to eat them. Next up, I built this in my survival world, but my casual viewers will probably recognize some of these. This is, of course, a little doggy house. We have a bamboo scaffolding right here and then bamboo trap doors around it to complete the doghouse look. And of course, we got the new pots with some moss on top for the doggy bowl. Next up, we got a... <laughs> Uh, a TV? I'm okay. I've never really been crazy about using expensive blocks because I'm a survival player, but this is almost worth it, I think. Yeah, I might even do this in my world because I don't even have a TV in my house. But this one is specifically designed where you can add decorations. So I use bamboo, similar to the doghouse, and in these areas you can place whatever you want. Next up, I really like the way this turned out, so this is going to be just a normal lamp. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I never realized how well a table is made from this because you can use a bell to hang from under any block you choose. I think this looks the best. I still don't even have these in my Let's Play world yet because it's kind of a hassle to get, but if you place a pot right here, well, the top part connects perfectly with this bell to create, well, a lamp. Next up, we have a medium-sized water reservoir. This can be placed anywhere just to look like you are holding water, of course, and then you can put a pot here and do this trick to make it look like water is trickling out. I really like the way this looks. This is light blue glass on the corners and ice to create that rounded shape. Next up, we have a swing set on a branch, but I like this swing set is because you can use these hanging signs to have that little effect, just this simple little effect right here is the only reason I'm using this. Um, but it actually works because these look like the armrests. But of course, if you really wanted to, you could even just continue the chain all the way down and do something like that. Next up is a bed. This one is a little bit extended, but you can place red banners down here and put quartz blocks right here to create an effect of pillows. And then I just surround it by dark oak materials. Next up, we have a kitchen design. I don't really feel like I ever do interior designs in a whole, so let me know if I should make this a whole video within itself. Maybe do a bunch of different kitchen designs and living room designs or even bedroom designs. But this one is a very woody take on a kitchen. So up here, for example, we got some honey jam. We got a closet here holding different things. We got some spices and herbs hanging from the top there. Pretty self-explanatory, but gives a really cozy feel to the kitchen. This is kind of an old trick, but I still really like it. It does require an invisibility potion, um, but it's quite simply this. The axe in the log. Man, only if Minecraft allowed us to do this somehow, 
I don't know how it would work. I feel like in the future at some point, Minecraft is going to add a way where you can display weapons and armor without item frames. Oh, you can. Go to armor stands. But in a different way, you know, like hanging on a wall. Or this. Next up, we have a well, and I absolutely love this well. I'm going to be building it in my survival world. It uses hanging signs and levers to give it that supported look. And as you can see, we use walls and full blocks down here to create that kind of rounded shape. And then I used granite up top with jungle trap doors to create the little roof. Next up, we have a small little starter house. Well, in some regards, because some of these materials might be hard to get, such as the pots. Well, not really. No, 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 not at all. Because it's just four clay. This is really easy to make. Um, but yeah, we can take a little tour here. It's a rather small house. You got a boat that's being fixed on in the back, perhaps. Um, but I really like these smokestack ideas you can do. I even put a furnace there. It's rather small, but you can also create a basement if you want to put your bed down here, some storage. Just a little idea for you. Next is a trophy. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to do that trick again, but with a trophy. Yeah. The next one I really like is because I've had a few series on my channel called Nomadic Survival, like where you travel all over the place. So this is, I think would be rather used for maybe if you're about to build in an area and you just put all your supplies in one little spot, which I really like. Obviously it can't be used, but it looks like you are parked. So I put a few horses up here and this is mixed with everything you might need, plus tons of storage to hold your items. You can even put ladders on the side and rails on the top to make it look like it's strapped down. That's not going anywhere. Here is a picnic table with an umbrella. These campfires create a nice seat, even though they don't look too comfortable. They just look more detailed than normal slabs. So yeah, and then you can put signs on the side right here, trap doors on the top, and then fence, that's a slab, and then beds around it just like that. I think it looks great. Next we have a trampoline. Yep, that's right. This could be used not for decoration. I mean, you could put it in a backyard if you're like making a modern home or something like that, but I see it more in the sense of maybe you have something really high, like I have a tall house. I would, it wouldn't really fit in my world, but I'd imagine I'd put it down there. So when you jump out of the top floor, you can land on your trampoline. <laughs> so thank you for watching everyone. That is just a few build hacks, but I have tons more in my head right now. that I'd love to just keep trying to improve and make better. Let me know if I should just make this a regular series on my channel of just these short videos giving you build ideas because I'd love it. I mean, look at all these I have around here. I don't think I've really showed a lot of these. Here's some extra ideas if you're still watching. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.